I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on derivatives. The question here is, a chord joins any two points A and B on the parabola whose equation is y square equals to 4x. If C is the midpoint of AB and CD is parallel to the x-axis to meet the parabola at D, prove that the tangent at D is parallel to the chord AB. Now this question involves some geometry, so I'd like you to pause the video, sketch the diagram, understand and then proceed. So let me show you how it may look like. Let's say that's the coordinate plane x and y axis. The parabola y squared equals to 4x means it opens on the right side, right? So, so let this be the parabola. So that becomes the parabola. We need to take any two points A and B. So let's take any two points and join them forming a chord, right? So let's say these are the points for us. So let's say these points are A and B for us. Now it says that C is the midpoint of AB. So let's say C is this point. C is the midpoint of AB. Now, CD is parallel to x-axis. CD is parallel to x-axis. So, let me sketch a line which is parallel to x-axis. Okay, so let this be the line. So, parallel to x-axis. Okay, that line is, is parallel to x-axis. Okay. Now, it intersects the curve at a point which is called D for us. Now, that's D. Now it says that we need to prove that the tangent at D is parallel to the chord AB. That means that is the kind of tangent. So let me just draw a tangent. It may not look parallel. But we have to show that these two tangents are parallel. Right? So that is the question for you. Okay, so let us see how to solve such a question. Let's begin by the given equation, which is uh, y square equals to 4x. So we can take implicit derivatives. So differentiating with respect to x on both the sides, we get 2y dy dx, correct? Equals to 4. So the derivative dy dx is equal to 4 over 2y or we can say the derivative at any point on this parabola is 2 over y. Does make sense to you. So this becomes the derivative at any point. Okay. Now, uh, let's try to see what is the slope of AB. So let's find what is the slope of AB. Now to get the slope of AB, uh, I will suggest that let's take two points, right? So general point will be, since the equation is given in this form, I'll prefer to write y1, let's say for B, let, let me write start with A. So I'll prefer to write y1 for y value. So the x value will be y1 squared by 4. Does it make sense? I mean to say uh, y squared equals to 4x. That means x is equals to y squared over 4. Perfect. So if I write y1 as y coordinate, the x coordinate will be y1 squared over 4. So that involves lesser calculations, simpler solution. So this point could be written as y2 squared by 4 y2. So that becomes the coordinate. Since we know these coordinates now, that is, we have these two coordinates, uh, we can write, uh, so we are working with the two coordinates, which are basically uh, y1 squared over 4 y1, and the other one is y2 squared over 4 y2. Since we have these two coordinates of A and B, we can write slope AB 
is difference of y values which are y2 minus y1 over difference of x values which are y2 square over 4 minus y1 square over 4. Perfect. Now 4 is a common denominator or we could write this as y2 minus y1 over we have this minus this which I could factor actually. So I could write this as y2 minus y1 times y2 plus y1 and this divided by 4 could be written in the numerator right times 4. Perfect. So let me simplify this by cancelling the common factors and uh, that gives you the slope as 4 over y2 plus y1. So we know that slope of line AB is 4 over y2 plus y1. So we want to prove that slope at D is also this. That's the whole idea. Let's try to find the slope at D. Now you can get an idea that slope at D is 2 over y. So we need to find the y value of this point. Okay. What are we given? We are given that C is the midpoint. So we are given C as midpoint. That means the coordinates for C should be uh, should be what? Average of x values and y values. So a and b are y1 square over 4 and y2 square over 4. So we can add them and divide by 2. So that gives us y1 square plus y2 square by 8. Right? And the, the y values will be y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So that becomes the coordinates of point C. Okay, that's one thing. The second thing we also learn is uh, is that uh, CD CD is parallel to x-axis. Now, what does that mean? If CD is parallel to x-axis, that means the equation of the line CD is what? Equation of the line CD is y equals to the constant y value which is y1 plus y2 over 2. Correct? So that becomes the equation of line CD. So that means that the y value of D is y1 plus y2 divided by 2. Correct? So we know that the y value of D is this. If that is the case, what is the slope of tangent at D? Well, we can just plug this in here. So we say dy dx at d is equals to 2 over this y value, which is y1 plus y2 divided by 2. And that is indeed equals to 4 over y2 over 4 y1, right? So, so if we know here now slope at d is indeed equals to, I'm rearranging writing it here, 4 over y1 plus y2 which is same as the slope of a b correct so i know i just moved from one extreme on my page to the other extreme right so so do you see all this so that is how we can actually show that slope of tangent line at d is same as that of a b perfect let's go back to this solution what we did was, from the equation, we did the derivative, found dy by dx as 4 over 2y or 2 over y. Now the question is, the slope at d is 2 over y value. So to find the y value of d, which has to be same as c y value, because this line is parallel, right? So they have the same y value, which is average of these two y values y1 plus y2 over 2 since c is the midpoint correct so we substituted this value here it flips to give us 4 over y1 plus y2 which is the slope of mab so they are both equal perfect so i hope you understand how we did it feel free to write or comment share your views but i like you to do it on your own so that you ensure that you understand. That's a very important question 
even for students who are doing AB calculus and IB math. Thanks for watching and all the best.